Girlfriend. Oh, now you know I don't like girls. Good morning, Sparkling Brook. Been shopping? Calico for a new dress. I'll bet that new dress is for the trading post dance on the 4th of July. For the dance. Young lady, as Indian agent representing the United States government, I demand to inspect that calico to make sure I approve of the color. Very nice. We, the United States government, approve. Furthermore, sparkling book, we officially give our opinion that you'll be the best dressed girl at the dance. Thank you, Mr. United States government. I mean, thank you, Mr. Range Rider. <clears throat> oh, sparkling Brook, my young friend would like to ask you a question. Yeah, that's right. Um, hello, sparkling Brook. Um, how, uh, how are you? Um, uh, how about you and I, um, you know the, what he wants to ask you is if he may take you to the dance. That's right. He wants to know if he can... Um, I want to know if I... Well, you and I... The dance. Will you? Well, the United States government advises against it. We must officially caution you that he dances like a... Buffalo in a tee shot? No! I'm a good dancer. I'll show you. May I? One. Two, three. Don't you don't you Was I that bad that she had to jump on her horse and head for the hills? It had nothing to do with you. It was something else. Well, what's the trouble? Smoke signals. Looks like the Wachukas are getting up a war party. Ready to go? Let's go. Three times Young Eagle has spoken. And three times the white man does not heed the warning of the Wachuca. We tried to tell you that we... The Wachuca will listen to no more of the white man's talk. The white man speaks with two faces. What do you intend to do with this? You shall both run behind that wagon until you drop. Now... And when you drop, you will be dragged. Now, 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 now you wait a minute. I, I'm from the United States government. The, 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 the law is on my side. The United States law, the white man's law. You bet it is. And they'll send a troop of cavalry in here and wipe out the whole Wachuca tribe. The white man speaks with big words. Let us see if he can die with the same bigness. The Ayapu! The Saved our lives. How do I say thanks? No need to thank me. It's part of my job. I'm the Indian agent for this reservation. Yeah, and I'm his pal. You don't have to thank me either. You must be the range rider. That's right. I'm Frank L. Sieber, U.S. Department of Survey. Mr. Gerd here is from an eastern mining syndicate. They found a huge ore deposit in Arrowhead Rocks. Gold? 
No, copper. You better tell him, Mr. Gert. Well, I believe there's more copper right here in our head rocks than was ever taken from the Copper Queen mine in Bisbee. My company plans to pit mine it. That is, if we can ever talk sense into these Indians. It just so happens that Arrowhead Rocks belongs to the tribe of the Huachucas. Since when is it legal for a private mining concern to come in and pit mine on an Indian reservation? Well, it uh, might be better to show you. If you'll meet me up at the boundary marker at Arrowhead Rocks this afternoon, I'll get my equipment and point it out to you. Can you drive all right? I think we can both make it. All right, good luck. Come on, Edward. Don't touch this. Take a look for yourself. Now, as you can see, the boundary cuts right from this marker right up to the butte. Now, this leaves Arrowhead Rocks on the outside of the reservation and not on the inside. Of course, you understand I've only held this job for two weeks, replacing the last Indian agent. But I was under the impression that Arrowhead Rocks were inside of the reservation. Well, you were sure under the wrong impression, and so were these Indians. Frank L. Sieber, isn't that your name? I made the original survey five years ago. And at Mr. Gerd's request, the government sent me out here to recheck my boundaries to see if he has a legal right to start a pit mining operation. And I do have that legal right. My company plans pit mining Arrowhead Rocks in spite of these Indians. Mr. Gerd's company wants to be fair about this. If Arrowhead Rocks had been on the reservation instead of where they are, he was willing to give the Indians 50% of the stock. But they're not inside the reservation. Even as it is. He's willing to help the Indians out. He wants to give them 5% of the net profit from the operation if they'll just leave him alone. Well, that sounds fair enough. Not to them, it doesn't. They don't want any money. They just want to keep us out of our head rocks. Why? You tell me why. You're the Indian agent around here. Now, what are you going to do about it? We'd better do something and do it quick. Those smoke signals you saw this morning mean the Chief Young Eagle's about to go on the warpath. The last time the Wachuca tribe went on a warpath, they killed five settlers and wiped out a whole troop of cavalry from Port Cook. Hey, we'd better get going. We'll see you later. Young Eagle, we come to you under a flag of truce as your friends. The Wachuca no longer makes friends with white men. The Wachuca is now at war. Young Eagle must help us stop this war. You were once my friend. I will spare your life if you go at once. Go. First, I must talk to Nantana, the wise old owl of the Wachucas. Take me to your medicine man. No. As once your friend, take me to Nantana. Give me this chance. There's a chance I give you, a chance to fight Young Eagle, who was once your friend and now your enemy. Do not interfere. This is just between the two of us, Dick. Stay out of it. Go!
You have won fairly. Kill me. No. You spare my life that I may forever live in dishonor? I spare your life that forever you may be chief of the Wachukas. Is it your wish that your enemies shall live? It's my wish that my friends shall live. Now take me to your medicine man so we can stop this war. So it will be. Oh, sorry. Tell him I don't smoke. But you have to. This is a pipe of peace. We're trying to stop a war. Look, for two years you told me if you caught me smoking, you'd knock my ears off. And now if I don't smoke, I'll start a war. Smoke. <laughs> the place called Arrowhead Rocks belongs to the white man's mine, not the Indian. But the white man is willing to pay the tribe much money if the Indian will let him mine the copper in peace. What you guys want, not money. Only want white man to stay away from Arrowhead Rocks. Why? That is secret known only to Wachukas. Well, maybe if you could tell me this secret, I could help avert a war. No. Nantana, you are the medicine man of the Wachukas. You are called the wise old owl. I need your help. This secret known only to tribe. But if Range Rider should become member of tribe, we could then tell him. I would be very proud to become the blood brother of the Wachukas. As a Wachuka, if you ever betray this secret, you shall die in the dust. Dragged to death behind our horses. I would be proud to become the blood brother of Young Eagle. It's okay with me, too. Oh, now, wait a minute. If I'm the blood brother to Young Eagle, then that makes his sister Sparkling Brook my sister. And who wants to take his sister to a dance? This is a sacred ceremony, Dick. No witnesses. Go water the horses or something. Okay, in other words, go jump in the lake. Right. Sparkling Brook. I mean, how? You must go away at once. But you haven't answered me. I mean, about the dance. There can be no dance when the Wachuca is at war. But the Range Rider's in a powwow with Young Eagle and the Medicine Man now. It's just about settled. So how about the dance? Well, you must ask Chief Young Eagle, who is my brother. May I ride your horse? Sure. That horse was a runaway. He, he could have busted your neck. Now we play one more game, huh? You run away on that horse, and I catch you. Ha, ha. Now it is done. Range Rider is blood brother of Young Eagle. Any secret of Wachukas is also secret of Range Rider. You will tell me the secret of Arrowhead Rocks. On my word of honor, as blood brother to Young Eagle, that secret will be kept. Great Chief Coloradus. Father of Young Eagle, his sacred memory to our tribe. Now, Great Chief, lie buried in secret place. That place, Arrowhead Rock. And the white man's pit mining would turn the mountain of Arrowhead Rocks into a great crater in the ground, thus disturbing the sacred grave of Coloradus. The Wachukas could not allow this. Wachukas want not white man's copper, not his silver, not his gold. Tell the white man he must go away from Arrowhead Rocks. But I can't. The law's on the white man's side. Then my brother fails us. To prevent a war, we must secretly move the grave of Colorados back to the reservation. No, not even Wachuca himself can disturb grave. If I am to help you, you must help me. 
half-blood brother of young Eagle still talk like white man. Him talk with two faces. Seize him! Crawley left a lamp in the window. I hope she left some supper on the stove, because I'm hungry. Mail, but it's not Tuesday. It's for you. As government Indian agent, you must call upon the U.S. Cavalry to enforce the legal rights of Edwin Gerd. Signed, Frank L. Sieber, U.S. Department of Survey. Yeah, that's the man we met with, Gerd. How good is your memory, Dick? Oh, pretty good. How was Sieber spelled on that government marker this morning? S-I-E-B-E-R. That's right. But here it's spelled S-E-I-B-E-R. Now, does the man forget how to spell his last name? You mean someone else wrote that note other than the man we met? Either that, Dick, or the man we met this morning isn't the real Frank L. Sieber. Hey, where are you going? You send a telegram to Washington? Well, wait for me. You've got to stay here. You're hungry, remember? Oh, yeah. I'll see you later. What's the matter? You must ride with me at once before the Huachuca warriors burn down this post. Burn down the post? There is something I want you to see. Hurry. Okay. You tell me at the lake, this is what makes war between the Huachuca and the white man. Because this board stands here. Well, it's a surveyor's marker. But why is it now here? Only seven suns ago, it, it stands on the hill, and there was peace. And the two white men come and move it down here, and now there is war. Seven days ago? Well, that, that marker was supposed to have been placed there five years ago. You mean someone moved it? I saw them from the trees on the hill. You're right. Look, grass and weeds bent down and crushed under this rock. Not five years dead, just seven days dead. Alden, you're covered, kid. So are your horses. Unbuckle your gun belt and throw it over here. Come on, hurry it up. Why didn't we bushwhack them? I want to find out who else knows what they know. And now we do it the hard way. That shouldn't be too difficult. No cartridge belt, no horses. He shot three shots out of that gun. That leaves him three more. Yeah, unless he had some extra ones in his pocket. I know a way to find out. I still bet he's only got three left. That leaves him two. Gather up some of those branches and leaves there and build a smoke fire for a signal. To Young Eagle at Moon Lake.
Fired pretty quick. Those smoke signals aren't going to do us any good. Let's spread out. Dan, that's his last one. We're out. Maybe I can bluff him. I got two spares. Anybody want to prove it? Just come ahead. Gun. You didn't get here a minute too soon. What'd you find out from Washington about Mr. Frank L. Sieber? He died six months ago. You better learn how to spell, Mr. Sieber. Did you know they moved the boundary marker? Well, the original survey from Washington shows the Arrowhead rocks are well inside of the reservation, not outside. These two smart boys are going to try and pull a land grab. Chief Young Eagle's going to be mighty glad that you shot him. I didn't. They shot each other. <laughs> Oh, wait, Young Eagle. You're making a mistake. Let me explain. Wait, Young Eagle. Stop! Stop! Young Eagle, you do not know what you do now the Wachuca wars against his friends. Land known as Arrowhead Rocks now again belongs to the tribe of the Wachuca. Never again will white man disturb it by digging for copper. Young Eagle, I'd like to take your sister to the dance at the post on the 4th of July. So it will be. Hey, wait a minute, Dick. What for? Her brother just said it was okay, didn't he? Yes, but now that I am the blood brother of Chief Young Eagle, Sparkling Brook is also my sister. Okay. May I take your sister to the dance? Yep. But you better have her home by 9 o'clock or I'll take a belt to you. I'm not going to like this. Too many relatives. <laughs> 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 